Hey guys, today I'm taking the Run Cam 2 apart. Uh, I want to put in a zoom lens in here as this camera has a really nice frame rate, 60 frames per second, and has some nice benefits uh, that I've covered in the unboxing video. Make sure you check that out. But I'm going to take it apart and see if I could swap the lens out to a 25 millimeter and maybe then I'll put in my 15 millimeter lens that I have in the Mobius now. So here I have the camera mounted in this new mount that I'm working on. It should be on my uh, store brainexplorercreations.com and it utilizes the existing cradle and uh, adapts it to mount to a Picatinny rail. So let's take the camera out uh, and then we'll take it apart. Okay so just looking at it initially you can see it has um, four screws in the body and two screws for this uh, protective shield. So unlike the Mobius it has a lot more screws. Before this assembly let's take out the battery and the SD card so we don't damage those. Take these screws out for the shield because it doesn't look like the camera will open unless these are out. So it looks very similar so far. The shield comes off as you can see. And here's the lens unit. Pretty much like the Mobius. Here it looks like there's an Allen uh, locking area here, with a little Allen screw that locks the camera, uh, the lens from rotating. The lens is a lot tighter in here, so you can't really wiggle it out. But luckily, you can get to the Allen from how the lens is, so I'm going to loosen that now. Looks like the whole thing is glued up pretty tightly. There's a bead of glue all around here. Taking the whole motherboard out so then I could undo this piece and see if it comes out. Okay. Alright, so here's the lens unit and the sensor. Makes it much easier to work when you have it separately. This looks identical to the Mobius, even the connection. You can see this piece here. It's like a millimeter wider, so it might not fit back into the cradle. But everything else looks the same. I'm gonna do a test recording, see if that works. Doesn't look like I could twist this thing out without taking this glue out. Put this thing back together, see if it works, because it seems to be giving me some kind of error. Seems to be working. See, it's giving me an error. With this plugged in, I get that blinking light error. So, I don't think this wire cable from the Mobius is compatible directly with the setup in here in the Run Cam 2. Try some brute force, see if it works. You know guys, I'm going to have to proclaim this a fail. Um, I don't think it's going to work without taking all this glue off. I'm not sure what it is, this stuff. It seems like it's almost molded into the thing. Some kind of like hot liquid plastic or something. It doesn't feel rubbery and it doesn't want to come off. Maybe I'll give it a shot another time, but for now it's uh, definitely not as easy as the Mobius. And this lens is fogging up like crazy too, I don't know why that's happening. So I'm going to put this thing back together, hopefully I haven't screwed it up beyond repair, and I'm going to 
think about it and see if I could find some alternative solution. Okay guys, quick update. So, he last saw me messing with the camera, I took it apart. I couldn't get the lens loose, so I went there with some muscle. And I think I screwed up the camera now beyond repair. It seems a little sensitive because I've done way worse things to my Mobius and it survived. So I'm not very thrilled on the, um, the durability of this thing so far, but again, this thing's not meant to be disassembled. That's something I'm doing to try to accomplish something this camera wasn't designed for. So I'm not gonna hold it at fault too much, but where I have it now, uh, when I turn the camera on, you can see it still powers on, but I get this blinking green light, which I don't know what it means. I couldn't really find it in the manual and I can't do anything, the Wi-Fi button doesn't work, I can't record, I can't even turn nothing off, so holding it doesn't do anything. I pretty much have to yank the battery just to shut it down. So, looks like I've killed this camera, but it's okay, I'll get another one to figure out the mount situation and all that. So, my loss is your gain, now you know, when you're taking this thing apart, be very careful with it, don't, uh, don't force anything. Now, what I'm going to try is, I saw another YouTube video on another camera, a guy disassembled it. And to get the lens loose, he used, uh, what the hell is this thing called? Oh, he used a hair dryer, hair blower. Obviously, I don't use one of these very much, but one of these guys to just blow on the lens unit. And that, I guess, loosened whatever glue's holding this thing in, because it's in there super tight. I tried um, wrenching on it and I was going hard because once I realized it was broken I wasn't really too worried about screwing anything up but I couldn't get it loose even with um, just brute force so I'm going to go ahead and take this thing apart like I would as if it was healthy just to the lens unit and then see if I could then apply the heat to it and loosen the lens because then there's still hope for this being a zoom camera so let's take it back apart it's pretty disassembled as is I'm not putting the screws back in yet because why so you see to, to get to the lens unit no matter what you do you're gonna have to take out this housing but if you do it carefully it, should, it shouldn't be a problem it's it's not very tough to take out just I guess don't snag it on anything so loosen that and now you got this and put all this stuff aside I don't think you want to get it too hot because I don't think electronics like heat very much but this thing, um, God, I jacked it up pretty good. Let's see if applying heat will loosen this rubber, glue, whatever's going on here, and we could um, unscrew this thing. And now for something completely different. seem to be doing very much um, it's hard to hold too because it gets pretty warm so Oh, I think it's moving. Maybe. Yes. Wow. That is a lot of work to get this thing loose. I'm surprised it moved. I was about to throw in the towel on this thing because I don't even understand. Hey, look at that, I got it apart, so. <laughs> There's still hope, I don't know if I wanna mess up another camera trying this, but you can't take it apart. This glue is insane. It feels just like molded plastic, it doesn't feel like glue. But really, who cares? You, I mean, you, in theory, it would throw this lens out if you got it off, so. This is what you want, is the little chip. 
I hope this one's not beyond screwed up because then I could just swap it out into the new camera when I get it. Or I'll burn out that camera too, so we'll see. Anyway, it's possible. As you can see, uh, applying the heat seems to work. The problem is now you can't lock it as easy as the Mobius with just a screw, so you'd have to get it in there, get it focused, figure it out, the alignment and all that. And then pretty much glue it in once you know where it goes. So it's going to be a little more difficult, but it's one of those things you do it once and you, you don't touch it again. So there you go. That's the complete disassembly of the camera. Stay tuned. I got a Fox Serial Legend 1 coming, which is very close to the Mobius, but it does 1080 60. So we're going to do a comparison, maybe of all three. And then I'm probably going to take that thing apart as well. So be sure to check out the store if you're looking for mounts for this camera. I'll have more in the future, I'm sure. And be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can catch the video where I turn this to a zoom or you want to review future cameras and all the stuff that I use the camera for. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.